Hello and welcome to the ninth tutorial of the SolidWorks learning course. Uh, guys, today we'll be learning about the slots in the line tool, the uh, types of slots, there are four types, and the polygon. So we'll start off with the slots. Uh, I'll select the front, front plane, sketch, and that's our first straight slot normally in the normal sketches as i as we have discussed in the previous uh, tutorials also that uh, the straight slot or the first option in any of the tools right up here are the common ones for example as we discussed the circle this is the or, or we can also use it in order to design a circle or to model a, a circle in a sketch area we can use the circle we can use the perimeter circle we can use this arc side also but the point here is that normally we are always using the default first option, the first type, because uh, the second or the third or either the fourth or whatsoever the so on numbers are basically designed in SolidWorks in a way that they were used in a complex kind of sketches. So the straight slot would be always compatible with the simple kind of sketches for example this one illustrates that uh, we have two nodes we have two nodes node 1 and node 2 so if I click here on the node 1 and then if I go up to node 2 I either I go up or down it will create a slot so this slot I have here different parameters I can increase the length of it I can increase the length or I can increase the width or I can decrease the width also so this is how it's been created and it's the normal kind of slot it's mostly being used in many of the, of the sketches now we have some other three options the second one is a center point state slot it depends upon the uh, kind of uh, uh, kind of sketch or kind of slot that we need because sometimes we we know that okay we are uh, directly at the center of this point where we need our slot to be so in that particular case we have to use the center points straight slot for example I have I know that this is going to be my center so I click up here and then I move straight to the right or either to the left side and I click one more time and that's my sketch for the slot it's absolutely the same thing but it's the only difference is that our point of reference our point of reference if our point of reference is the straight slot which means that we know that this point to this point distance then we can use the straight slot if we know the center of that particular slot then it's easier to use the center point slot now the third option is guys the third option is the three point arc slot so it's 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 kind of like a different from the first two the first two are the straight slots the second the third and the fourth are actually the uh, kind of like an arc slot so I click on the first I click on the second then I go up third and then it makes then I have to scroll my mouse to create the width of this particular slot so if I go up towards the middle line it decreases if I go out of the middle line it increases for example if I want this much okay I closed up here and then I have different parameters to put on if I click on this one it will increase the width okay we can change the dimensions later on that's that's not an issue if I increase the length of it I can increase so it's it's increasing guys you see or so I bring back to its original position so this is how the arc type slot is being made and there is one more option as uh, the, the center line straight slot there is a uh, center point arc slot so the center point arc slot is basically we have a point of reference at a different uh, distance I clicked up here and I have the I have to start it from here towards this point and then I have to make it up if I go out it its width increases if I come towards the main center line its 
decreases for example if I want something like this so that's how it's been created so uh, that's all for the straight slots and the arc slots now I'll jump up to the polygon guys for the polygon we know that the polygon normally it has around like six corners but we can change we can increase or we can decrease the parameter uh, to increase its corners or to decrease its corners the the minimum we have in SOLIDWORKS is three you see we have six sides of this polygon I can decrease it for example with the same size I can decrease up to the requirement of the sketch I can come down to five four and three is the last this is the last if I come down more it, it, it doesn't go and four five six or either seven eight nine ten whatever we can go up so that's based on the requirement so this is how and and we can uh, increase or we can elevate its uh, its uh, angle uh, from this center line to to this point if if I make it 90 that means that this point is perpendicular x-axis is perpendicular to the y-axis at the top of this polygon point so if I made it uh, 89 it shifted towards uh, the, the first uh, quarter of the graph it goes this way or if I moved it up to for example 125 degrees it's shifted towards left so I bring it back to its original position 90 degrees and that's where it is so uh, guys that's all for today thank you so much for watching